Joe Zarzer here with Dr. Malone uh, for another installment of Zarzer Law TV. Today we're talking about rotator cuff tears and their relationship to car wrecks. Um, before we get into too much detail about rotator cuff injuries related to vehicle accidents, I thought it'd be good for you to tell us all what a rotator cuff, when you say rotator cuff, what is it referring to? Because it's not referring to a muscle in your shoulder. It's referring to four muscles in your shoulders. Is that Correct. Right? A group of four muscles, and it is what allows your arm to basically do any of its motions in the shoulder joint, out and rotating, all that kind of stuff. That is a group of four muscles that extend from your shoulder blade, your scapula, down to the top of your humerus, the ball. And so the ball and socket here is held in place by the four muscles. The and four muscles, they? so it's the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, the teres minor, and the subscapularis. Awesome. And so they produce all the motor function of your arm and then they're held in place by other connective tissue, labrum and things like that. So there's more than just the muscles in there, but when you hear about the rotator cuff tear, it's usually an injury to one or more of those four muscles. And what are the mechanisms of injury from a car wreck perspective on those muscles? How does that happen typically? So the common one, it's anything that's an abrupt change in direction or deceleration. So think of being rear-ended and you're driving and you look in your, your, your rear view mirror and you see it coming and you kind of tense up and it's steering wheel, the force gets pushed back on your shoulder. Right. Back the one I hear all the time is people say, I always had my seat belt, it made a big bruise, it locked up, Yep. my whole body went forward, this part of my body didn't go forward and the next thing I know I'm, I got a tear in my shoulder. Correct. Um, so when the doctors are diagnose somebody with a rotator cuff tear, they're really saying one of those four muscles is torn. Correct, and, and sometimes that's all you'll get, but it'll be, it can be one or all four of them, and sometimes it's a combination of, yes, I had an acute tear, but you may have had a chronic tear as well that you basically were compensating for because those other three muscles did the job of the injured fourth one, and then you have another tear on top of a chronic injury. Right, so you could aggravate a pre-existing problem. Yeah. Yeah. All right, if you have uh, been in a car wreck and you've got shoulder symptoms and your doctor thinks you have a rotator cuff issue, um, and you might need some help with the legal side of this, you can find us on the web at zarzalaw.com or you can call us the old-fashioned way at 855-HIRE-JOE. Thank you.